final on Team Fire. He's the reason the LCK players can't sleep at night. The terror in the top lane. Smurf! Y jugando para el equipo hielo, llegó a España como jugador profesional, pero cuando se vaya estará en la lista de los asesinos más buscados por la Interpol, es... Maple... Maple... Buena suerte, caballeros. Can you uh, do that with my brain real quick? There, <laughs> I was about to say, this one. <laughs> I need to get one of those buttons for my girlfriend. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm crippling. I was going to say, the follow-up to that is obviously easily, you don't have a girlfriend, yeah, Crepo. So. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> so looking at Team Ice, I was just running the math here, and there was three players from Team Ice in the top four. So even if Smep wins and gets the 250 points in the long run, in the yeah. finals, he will only tie. It'll be 250 for ice, 250 for fire. However, if somebody takes down Smeb, it's going to be looking fantastic for the Team Ice players in the overall scope of All Stars. Plus, uh, a lot of the players have talked about it. In the one versus one mode, almost none of them care about the team uh, factor. That th this is almost all about personal glory. It's literally one versus one. And uh, Smeb definitely has that very high on his list. I mean, this is a guy that does not want to join SKT to play with Baker. Nope. He'd rather join any other team to play against him and be able to be the one to take Baker down. But that's something you say after you have not joined SKT. <laughs> True, which, which one came first? Did he get his invitation? Meanwhile, though, Maple has been one of the uh, mid laners. You talk about, I mean, we talk about Baker a little bit. This guy has been so close to that echelon. He's always been a top tier. Uh, definitely world caliber. He did just take down Mata in the famed Yasuo 1v1, so... He's just so pleasant to watch, and it's it's kind of a, a guaranteed seal of approval you get when you watch a Maple game. You know he's going to do at least something nice. He's always kind of average at worst. Is like the best way <laughs> to uh, describe Maple for me, but very often, very much so beyond average. He's uh, still waiting for his pick. Smep this time doesn't lock in. He's learned. I can actually wait uh -huh. while they can see my picks on the screen. Quinn Hover here to start it off, but we do expect style right for Ooh. both of these guys. I've heard about Mordekaiser, by the way. Oh, have you? Did you know uh, no dragon on this map? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, ah, shoot, I forgot about that one. Uh, oh, there we go. They already locked those ones in uh, okay, yeah, pretty quick, though. Versus Cannon. Oh, uh, this. This kind of feels like Smeb was like, oh yeah, the Yasuo thing, that's that's so cool, you guys are like doing that, right? I, I want to get it too. And, and Mabel's like, oh, I already did that. Guy. It's like when you use an old me. You're, you're late, yeah, you're so late to the party. You're like so excited, you arrive to the party. Hey guys, meet Yasuo too, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> guys? I can play Yasuo. Guys, Yasuo? Mirror match? Yasuo? Is the cannon a great matchup into it though? Because a lot of it is skill shot based with the Q. But if you can land an auto attack and then W through the wind wall, that's what you want to do. But I feel like yeah, Yasuo I, should be fine. I would definitely max uh, my W as cannon for this matchup. Uh, I mean, Shuriken, if you're super confident in it and you're going to be landing like the point blank ones when yeah, the charge is yeah. on you, then yeah. But um, W max is the way to go for cannon top lane traditionally when you yeah. play versus melee champions. That has always been it. The only reason people shift to Q is because the range champions are just too far away. Um, but yeah, you just get double value from leveling it up. Just like you said. Not only does the initial uh, mark damage go up, you can proc it again as well, proc it more often. Always love uh, seeing Yasuo's though, and I, despite all the memes from solo queue and stuff, I love Yasuo, whether he's on my team or on the enemy team. He's just a fun champion to watch. I mean, as a support player uh, who tends to go for kind of setup champions, Yasuo is just so fun to have him. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, I guess that it makes sense that we both like him because we're both the sort of set up roles. Because uh -huh, we're too bad to actually play the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh my god, look what that guy's doing. He's so good at this game. Uh -huh. I'm helping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I press Q once. Smeb uh, running Dorns. Much more efficient. He might actually go for a tank Yasuo again here. Let's see what he's pairing yeah. that Dorn shield with. I mean, these trades, wow, we can be like, oh yeah, look, he's losing. It's super early in the game, so they can just walk all the way back and try and get a recall off. Yeah, he's testing the waters. On his I wonder team. if he actually will, though. He's staying pretty late in the brush, and he's got... Uh, he might he definitely came out worse for wear on that trade. He's staying with the minions. Yep. Maple getting the early push here and the sustain from the Dorns. So Smeb kind of surprised by the damage from W Stark Cannon. 
Nice. Yeah, Prox's shield immediately as well. That's good. That one all attack from uh, Maple depletes the shield for Smeb, putting him behind again. Definitely was one of the good changes uh, they made to Yasuo, and they were looking for ways to nerf him. I like that they nerfed the uh, time where the shield has to charge back up, because that's one of the most annoying parts about the Yasuo. Uh, building that shield back up from moving around. Maple actually getting. Very good last hits. Yeah, definitely doing a great job here. Looking at Smep also, his runes, he's running both magic resistance and armor, no health, indicating that there's kind of... Having to defend against Kennen is twofold. You know, you can't just single spec into flat armor or flat MR like you can get into most champions, you know, that are very one-dimensional. The fact that Kennen is hybrid in its nature makes him so hard to play against. Definitely true. And Smeb goes in with the knock-up charge. Now can he get Minions out of that though. trade, though? Yeah, Minions tanking. Good exhaust here. He had one exit creep remaining with the E. Yeah, so not so good exhaust, nope. man. <laughs> he forgot about, he basically forgot about the approaching minion wave. Exactly. Maple. On, on, you always have to keep that in mind with Yasuo. That's what makes him so tricky, right? Uh, you can use your own minions against you. Going in for another trade here, actually. They both do have Warlords, by the way, though. Uh, so healing up off mm -hmm. of the minion damage. And it's definitely W Max Cannon because there's 29% attack speed on the side of Maple. So he really just wants to repetitively auto those minions like we've been seeing. Yeah. Generate that CS. He may drop a couple because his AD isn't as high, but he wants to control the wave and as many of these procs as he can to then stun Smep as he goes in. And it is always so hard to get wave control against Yasuo uh, if you're just relying on autos. Because as you can see, uh, Meb... Smep, he's... I'm having a very good... Uh, <laughs> That's fine, Kobe. I got you. <laughs> I love the fact that he plays the wind wall at, when he's done CSing, places the wind wall, goes for... Uh, undeniable Q-poke, and then he hides the brush again, waits for that shield to come up again. Now he's uh, trying to use his range minions. Yeah, right. It's always just uh, the possibility of an engage that's keeping Maple back as well. Good double asset with the Q here. Smep showing some uh, Yasuo know-how. I wonder if he does try and take advantage of the summoner spell uh, discrepancy here that he has earned for himself. Currently, he's not, not trying to, you know, he's just shoving in the minion wave, trying to keep his CS up here. Man, following that talk that we did earlier about the points, if Smep falls here, Ice is guaranteed to win the All-Stars event. So he definitely needs to Yeah, win and not the just not just the 1v1s, by the way, the All-Star event. Yeah. There's so many points in the 1v1 tournament. Yeah, he will lose his right Ooh. to play in the final for a combined 400 points there. But let's see, we're not there yet. It's the first game of best of three. Smep is up 2CS, but there is CS under the third for Maple, and it doesn't matter how good he's trading, if he's trailing CS, can he control the game later on? Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, no sweeper for Maple. Keep on grinding here. Yeah, there's the, there's the sweeper, but not going to go for the rash. Remember, it is the focus on the minions. Almost like hypnotizing. We're just now, looking at the screen. Well, because I'm, I'm going through the plan, right? Uh, for What's the plan? I'm trying to get in a smed's head, and it's too difficult because... You don't I'm, speak Korean. I'm not... <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, actually, I got in the head. Now I just have to figure out what he's saying in there. <laughs> um, but you could go try... I, I'm trying to think if he's trying to get to a specific gold point, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, there is a possibility with the level 6 to try and go for the all-in. Hex Drinker? Um, Hex Drinker is the obvious choice. I'm trying to think because there's not really any other super big spiking item. Um, and as you said, Kennen definitely is very big on the hybrid damage, but also Kennen also has a lot of stuns um, and a lot of disengage where he can try and, you know, kite there. Yeah, not worth, I think. Kite out your hex drink of shield. Yeah, definitely he can kite, but it's not worth specking into, like, Merc Feds. That would be a complete waste of stats. Uh, Tenacity yeah. is definitely not what we're going for. Hex drinker is a likely choice. I think Smeb's just waiting for a moment where he can push the wave hard enough that he has a good base timing. Yeah. Um, he is actually no longer trailing on CS. Every time he pushes under turret, there is the risk of Maple losing some CS. A good sidestep. Hides behind the range so he needs to, then goes into the brush. Good trade. Windwall to deny auto Q. Really well played by Smeb as he has the shield on the back. Hand. Only loses the shield health there. Plus, with both of them having Warlords, uh, double effect with it. Oh! Yeah, this is ulti versus ulti. Smeb needs to land a Q proc into R. If he hits the next Q, it could be over. Remember, it places you outside of the turret if you can. Okay. That's a good change they made to Yasuo as well, or maybe it was from the get-go. If you ulti somebody under turret, yeah. the game will place you as far as away as it can from the oh, turret down. Will Maple expect it? Yeah, there we go. Does keep her to find him in there. Smeb was sticking around. And he's going to gain so much life off the minion wave, remember. 
because Smeb has control of the minion wave and melee double effectiveness on the Warlord's uh, lifesteal. That's why he's been uh, sustaining a bit better than Kenny. But he has to go for, honestly, a really tanky build right now because he's down a summoner. Maybe in the chaos of that all-in, he didn't realize that Maple held on to the exhaust. Yeah, and that is one of those timers that's much more difficult to keep track of um, rather than the super easy flash that everyone's used to for Summoner's Rift. Meanwhile, well, you have your own exhaust. So, yeah, I mean, if you use them at the same time. Yeah. Uh, but if, if they're desynced, very difficult. But again, so much attack speed here for Maple. Doubling down on it. And no Hex Drinker. Yeah, nope. so he is going for something else here. Uh, special, I mean... Um, it's either the uh, Sterk's Gauge or the Frozen Mallet, which would be a long ways off, so... Probably just wants the Charm's Fist just to hold on to that. Yeah, that's that one, To me, guy. though, it's actually not very efficient. You know? And you have to stack it up, so... I don't really like the item. And you're kidding, he's going for a CS victory, unless he just lands a good all in here. Smet taking a lot of damage here, because this isn't an enraged cannon here. Needs the Relic to get out. Second Sun is coming right now on this mark. Ooh. They just faded. Yeah, need one more. Blood Moon charges. Uh oh. Now, this is Next the tax we can. Yeah. Good goal for current victory, honestly. Well, Winlaw definitely puts a stop to that. Because we have uh, attack speed boots picked up by Maple and Double Door, and this is kind of a really efficient point for this 80 centric cannon. Or attack speed centric cannon, rather. Doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, and you're also limited to two Dorans, so it's not like you can just spam a bunch of Dorans. Nope. They've already chosen their Dorans items. Meanwhile, Smeb didn't pick up any other items, so that was a very good exchange for Maple, and he Four just got potions. more potions. Um, so he's no more combat effectiveness there, just extra sustain, which he didn't have a big problem with before. Now he does. Kennen's getting stronger, obviously, on the later basis. So you only have like one wind wall every so often. That maybe is the problem. And Pleb, as Maple gets tankier and has access to exhaust and ulti, the all-in is less likely to happen. Really good counter stun here by Maple. He basically had a mark, W proc, in, or he EW proc, as he had a mark on him already to deny Smep the opportunity of ulti on that knockup. And now he's going oh, all-in. He does get the ulti off, though. Exhausted. He's exhausted. He's too far away from the relic. He needs to get the relic, but it's too far. That is obviously the problem with Yasuo. The damage of the ulti lands at the end of the animation, which makes it incredibly easy to exhaust. And this is the second time that we've seen one of the players both blow both summoners at the same time. For one. Yet be the ones to start up the exchange later when their opponent had the exhaust advantage. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like you said, sometimes you forget the opponent did not use both summoners at once. Maple, just like Uzi, had the extra exhaust. Pretty easy victory right there for him. In game number one, though, this is a best of three. Mm -hmm. Smeb and Fire still have a chance. But that is honestly, I think, what happened. I think Smeb must have forgotten in the chaos of that first <laughs> what engage happened? that um, the exhaust was still available. Because if you land that, maybe you survive for a bit longer. You get yeah. an extra shield up again. It can all turn the tides. You can get to the Relic, maybe. But suddenly, you're slower as Yasuo. Your ulti get negated. It's so hard to play Yasuo if you get exhausted right before you take that damage. Yeah, definitely agree. Uh, we'll see what he changes up for the next game uh, because Maple definitely willing to go with those ranged champions into the Yasuo. And we'll have to see something different. Smeb said he wanted to win with style. The first part of that is you have to win. Win, yeah. <laughs> when, when you're not winning losing with, with style. Losing with style is also pretty good. I do like losing with style, but... Not quite as good. But I think you need more style then. We need yeah. to see like some... some well, I never got down. the winning part down, Screpo, so I got to you know, take what I can get. Well, it looks like they're already set up for the next game. Oh, Kennen no. should be a ban. Lucian ban. That's so interesting. Uh, so they, he's going to leave it up. Maybe we get a mirror here. Uh, he decides to also go with it. I like to see just more variety, though. Both these guys have had that as far as the spirit of the event see what Maple decides to go with next. I mean, this is the moment for Maple to challenge Smep to a 1v1 mm -hmm. in a certain fun champion. Maybe he's having the same problem. I mean, they do have uh, mics. They can communicate with each other, but you know, don't speak Korean, then you don't speak Korean. Tough luck. If only. I wonder, yeah. A lot of the Korean players do speak a lot of English, though. Oh, yeah, so Smep's English is, is... I think it's quite good. Definitely advanced enough to say, like, 1v1 the v1. champions. You can you can communicate the champions. Oh, this in. 
They haven't. I haven't seen their mouths moving. So I think he's just like, okay, he's probably gonna pick Cannon again. So I will too. It's the best champion remaining. It's a super strong one v one champion. Now, once you play this matchup, it actually boils down to really good E usage as well, because you can dodge um, Shuriken with E. It gives you extra resistances if you're about to get stunned. So if you're gonna be stunned anyways, you might as well put you in a, in a kind of safety zone with the E active on. Yeah, and they can see they both smile there as they see it is a mirror match. And Smeb going to try and stick into this one back against the wall. Ooh. And I also wonder if you're going to see any like differences in style and runes and masteries, because that is obviously where it boils down to in these mirror matches. Yeah, Maple was 100% on that attack speed train, uh, and it did work out for him. Yes, the early control of the minion wave there over to Yasuo, but mm -hmm. man, after that first back, it was all Kennen. Yeah, and it actually changes up whether they max Q or W here because it is a double max range matchup where you get punished very much so for walking up, so we could actually yeah. see Q max Kennen come out on one of the sides. Yeah, definitely true. I mean, I, f I just feel like it's so unreliable to max Q, so easily punishable. There is a big reward though, and that would be the style win, I guess, in a mirror matchup. Yeah, or if you just suddenly shift to AP, because even AP Cannon usually starts with Doran's Blade, because it's just a such an efficient start. Yep. Because looking at Maple, is still running the same thing. Um, attack speed, magic resistance, and armor. Yep, all flat. Yeah, really nice room page right there. Going for um, 18 0 12 as expected. Got the brush check. Completely even trades, except Smeb backs out first. Takes the extra auto. Takes the extra auto. There is a difference, though, because Smeb has 80 reds, I believe. Yep, he's running marks, uh, attack damage marks, but he has less attack speed. So yeah. he should be have an easier time uh, lost hitting, and the single auto traits should be slightly better for him. Yeah, and so that would be a rune page you would want to go also if you were going to go with the risky Q max style. Uh, if you're going to go with the W that we saw from before from Maple, then the extra attack speed definitely good to generate more of those. There's actually one little tweak. Um, Smeb has reduced summoner cooldowns, which means if he can get oh. a trade, maybe that's what he was looking for last game, actually, because everybody is running um, either feelers or, you know, extra health regen, but he's not going for that insight where you have summer spell reduction. Uh -huh. So if Smeb can trade both, yeah. up slightly sooner as and go all in. Then that, that, that timing window is so small. As soon as yours come back up, though, no matter where the minions are, no matter where he is, you there have you to force it there or else you get no value. But let's just look at uh, the normal laning pattern. Second wave, Smeb sitting on 6 ES. Gets level 2 on the 7th creep right here. That's the first melee of the second wave, as usual. And obviously has control. Nice Q next to the range creep. Mm -hmm. You can also see when they hold on to the charge up of their auto for a W. That's when you wake, uh, you walk up and you're yeah. like, ah, bro. <laughs> Step Think away. I won't? Think I won't throw this shuriken at your face? All right, Smeb still in control. Wave's bouncing, though. If you do not finish off wave per wave fully, um, the, the reinforcements will Ooh. arrive much sooner on the other side. Just the minion there. Melee one for Smeb, though. Kobe would have landed that. <laughs> I see this actually isn't too bad. It's just that when I do play a laning champion, I have absolutely zero map awareness. Yeah. It's just minion map disappears. Jungler problems. I don't know if support have the same issues. Oh, I, I just can't CS. <laughs> and I would go don't even try. <laughs> Are they going to trade some damage here? Nope. All focus still on the minions, by the way. Smeb is really holding onto those marks for quite a long while. Yeah. He's on that one for like three seconds. He is, seems to be okay with the wave bouncing. Could indicate that he's fine going for uh, an all-in trade. Yeah, and he does have the lead uh, as far as the minions go. Maple, because he's playing so close to the relic, actually opens himself up for a Q trade there. Smeb has been hiding behind his creeps much more. Yeah, Smeb also, you can tell, generally gravitates towards the top side where he has brush control. Uh, definitely comes with playing as a top laner, right? You're always going to look for extra brush control so you can get the minions to de-aggro you when you go for harassment trades. That was a super cool trade in the sense that Maple stepped up with the mark already active on the first part of the W, so he got the stun on Smeb. Smeb then generated enough auto attacks in the trade to yeah. get the mark at the end and then sped up forward uh, to get that final trade exchange. Smeb doing more damage in these trades, though, because he is running raw AD. So if on equal amounts of auto attacks, which they did, Smeb is getting the better in these trades because Maple is so minion uh, focused running the, like, the odd 24, 29 attack speed. And even he's not really controlling minions better because no. when you're pushing these minions, unless you're making full use of the auto attack timer, 
Uh, and you're auto attacking on mm -hmm. cooldown, which neither of them are. You, you will miss minions that yep. way. Uh, it doesn't matter quite as much. Yeah, so looking to eight and a half AD over time, really working in Spence's benefit and his early minion control as well. Even when Maple has the charge on his W auto, he's not bullying. Like, it's still Smeb that's forward in the minion wave. Yeah, maybe was also hiding far less. It's like he really wants to play that skill matchup where he's like, cue me in the open, I'll dodge it, instead of just hiding behind his ring troops. Yeah. Looks a little bit more tense. Also, just look at the cameras of the two guys. Smeb looks, his arms are in, elbows tucked in. Right? I feel like we're in like... Re High school reading into like uh, body language uh, yeah, interpretation those, or like literature, well, exactly. Like and Maple, he's so open. Uh -huh. You know, this is this is how you signal to people that you are, uh, you know, welcome to human interaction and you're a jolly fellow, right? Uh, <laughs> that if you want to go into interviews, don't uh, cross your arms because that your makes arms. you confrontational. I don't know. Smeds right now is just fully relaxed. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, another day at the office. Smeds so playing in endurance mode, and Maple is uh, working on them traps right now. Maple's got wings, actually. He's like ready to take off. That's what uh, birds do, tense. though. They make themselves look bigger, you know. To, uh, that's what you do. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> what a little crap on a bird. <laughs> Went a bit too far at one point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Smeb so going in mark trade. Stun ultimate. Let's get him. Let's get him. Smeb still holds his ulti. Oh, the late ultimate goes in for the E charge too. It's a barrier being pumped versus the Ignite, and Maple gets access to the Relic. That's a mistake from Smeb. Should have went back and gotten the Relic. Is it what Smeb wanted, though? We talked about the reduced summoner cooldown. Next time, is it going to be Smeb as soon as they come up, forcing that fight? I love that he held his ultimate, because he had the upper hand up until that point. Could have yeah. honestly just disengaged and went for the Relic, based, and then forced an all-in onto Maple. What, what the mind game is here is you don't want to have your you want to have your ultimate channeling for the least amount of time while you're exhausted, right? Because that damage, uh, you just want to get through. And so you want to wait either for the exhaust to happen early, then use your ultimate afterwards, um, or pop it super early so that they exhaust and then exit the trade. But we need to look for a fast push here on the side of Smeb. He needs to get this wave done. Because otherwise, if Maple gets the upper hand right now, because he has two relic stacks, Ooh. Also, we didn't go over the purchases. I mean, the boots versus the cutlass. Yep. The extra life still there is definitely important, but uh, when they're locked in to that... Uh-oh. Okay. Meb actually gets all in. Meb low, but he has the E to get out. He has minions to help him, so he's comfortable in the trade. Minions... Can so it be Wasn't counting the charges on him. Yeah, and Maple got the last activation. Smep was waiting for his Q to come up so he could win that trade because the, the Maple could never exit that tra trade anymore. The yep. cannon creep would kill him if a Q connects. The problem was there was a W in the end that you just pointed out. Smeb had all of the control there and he thought he just got two laps. He thought he had it in the bag. But uh, Maple got him as he came back in for a little bit greed. Wish we could go back in time here and the see. Two charges on him, gets that stun, then he starts stacking up immediately. There's one right there. Yep. It's a W at the end from Maple. Exactly. You have. He he waits in W oh. range. He could have gotten out of W range there if he kept running back. Yeah, he basically turn. was looking for a Q and then get yeah. the re return stun he had, and have the minions. He had minions on him. He also had the summoner timing advantage. Uh, but doesn't doesn't take the exit that's available, and that is going to be Maple moving on. Ice, take it. Ice, take it. You've done it. <laughs> Europe has congratulations. Europe has shown up at an international <laughs> tournament with no vacation memes. Fantastic.